Well, ladies and gentlemen, after 14 years of being absent from the stage, along with his former bandmate, Mick Jones, last night, guys, it actually happened for the first time in almost 20 years, 17, 14 to be exact. Lou Grant rejoined three of his old bandmates in Forner for three very well done and absolutely moving and historic songs. Um, now, the, the songs that Lou sang um, with, with the other um, three, three original members of Forner's lineup um, was Long Way From Home, I Want to Know What Love Is, and even um, the band's encore song, Hot Blooded. And I have to say, guys, um, uh, now, like a, like a lot of people, um, I too have been guilty of uh, maybe calling Lou's voice a, a little washed up and a little too past its prime, although I have to say, History was not only made last night, but by Lou actually coming coming out with Meg and and with the other two um, original guys that came that came out last night at Jones Beach Theater in New York. Um, Lou not Lou not only reunited with the band and sang those three classic songs. He did it, and he sounded like like he did back back in ni 1997, um, when Foreigner originally got back together with Lou and and some other um, mem members from a previous lineup, guys. Now, obviously, um, in, in the time since uh, Lou. Um, exited Foreigner. Um, times have not been good to him. Um, obvi obviously, before Foreigner got back together the last time, um, Lou, Lou had unfortunately suffered a brain tumor, which has um, caused him to gain a lot of weight because of the uh, medication that he takes to keep it in check. Um, and yes, some that it does cause his voice to be shakier than other nights. But last night, guys, I have to say, I don't know what Lou did to prepare for that three-song reunion with the Meg, Meg, Meg last night. But that, that was like the Lou Graham that people will remember from 97 to 02. I, I mean... Seriously, guys, last night history was made because not not only did um, Mick, Mick and Lou share the stage together for the first time under the band's name in a while, but it, it was done in such a well-done, well-rehearsed well way that, that, it, that it truly felt like it was something historic. Like what what happened in New New York last night? Um, w would be the same kind of thing if Steve Perry would um actually get up and sing with Journey again, um, like it like it has that same historic but also very moving type of reu reunion effect. Um, so, yeah, guys, you guys have just got to check out the performance for yourselves, and, um, I, I will actually be seeing Foreigner Tuesday, um, in, in, uh, at Jibby Loop Live, so I do hope that that's an, that that's another performance that Lou, that Lou will decide to, um, grace the stage again. But even if he doesn't, just let it be known, people, that yes, 
Foreigner's original lead singer did play with the band last night for three historic and very moving songs, um, which were, as I stated previously, long, long, long way from home. I want to know what love is, and of course, hot blood. Now, obviously, the biggest thank you should not should not go to Mick Jones, but but to Lou himself for putting on such a a well done performance. I mean, seriously, guys, it it was it was such a moving video to watch. Um, so yes, once again. Lou Graham did reunite with Foreigner last night. Jones Beach Theater in New York City. You guys have got to check it out.